yeah, power gel's gross for interactive use, but scripting is kind of nice. I mean, PowerShell can be really cool. I have a bastardized version of a PowerShell profile, which I'll show you real fast why this does its thing in the background. So what you could do, like, let's just echo profile. This is where all your profile is situated on your computer. So let's take Vim, which is actually NeoVim. I just alias it. And I kind of fix a lot of the unuser friendliness of a PowerShell. So let's let's take a peek here and just kind of look like the CD functions in case you've like fat finger or you want to do some extra ones. I throw those in here. Uh, getting file hashes becomes a lot easier. So these are all functions when you can I have aliases in here as well. And it makes things a lot easier. Um, elevating to like the uh, PowerShell with admin just makes you just type admin or sudo or su, you know, call the admin function. So it says this, these are the aliases. And I have a lot more aliases down here where you're going to be like, okay, <laughs> um, let's go LL, G, Gcom. I kind of do these for super lazy GitHub commits uh, when I want to do that. We got public IP, uptime unzip so like powershell unzipping is kind of terrible so writing these types of functions makes things a lot easier let's say i wanted to give everyone in chat my profile right now this ix profile is kind of neat so let's say i do ix and then i go profile this will go through upload my entire profile grab the, all the contents of the file and let's say i toss it into chat you click on this link, that's my entire profile. So you can take everything I've just done, pick out the aliases, the things you like from my profile and do it. So it changes and like superpowers the, the PowerShell to actually make it good. And it takes a lot of the great things in Linux, like uptime for instance, and then just tosses them so it makes it really easy where you don't have to do like this git WMI object and all this ugh, grossness of PowerShell. And it makes it more Linuxy, you know, like disk, disk free. So if you're on your terminal and you type DF, it's going to call the disk, spit out and say, Hey, here's the size remaining the size. And the cool thing about this is it actually looks better than Linux even though it's it, it takes the best of both worlds, so to speak. And I like that. So when I am in Windows, I kind of get that good Linux feel, that vibe. You know, I like that. But I can't really tell people that. People will be like, you're weird. Why? <laughs> Why not just use Linux? Uh, the Linux people out in chat are already like, I'm out. <laughs> Um, but when in windows, I like to use windows tools as much as possible. It's just, I modify them to, you know, not be insane. Why Microsoft doesn't do this by stock defaults is the thing. I'm like, the tools themselves are not bad. It's just, you know, it, I feel like every single time a Microsoft dev is making something cool. They're like, Hmm, how can I make this as unuser friendly as possible uh, let me think all right let's go wmi dash blah 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 and then it's like mm, okay you could have just done df for disk free instead of all that crap but <laughs> you know microsoft logic again <laughs>